Hey everybody, here with another update for my experience, Nazarene Bible College. My name is Bradley Petty. I just completed the um, introduction to the Old Testament class, and I really enjoyed it. This was the textbook, Old Testament survey, right here. So, this is a very interesting book. It's a really good read. It's a, it's a lot of information in here. So, in the class, you'll be doing a lot of reading. Be prepared to do a lot of reading in this class. Make sure you stay up, uh, like your reading assignments, try to start them ahead of time. That way you can get a chance to read everything, a lot of useful information in this book. Another one that was really cool was this Holman book of biblical charts, maps, and reconstructions. Uh, a lot of people probably already have one of these, but it's very, very interesting. Show some timelines, the reconstructions of like the temples and stuff like that. So I really enjoyed some of that. Um, reading through here, the charts time frames and it's got a lot of useful information in here if you're trying to understand the old testament a little bit better so i'd recommend that to anybody who just wants to see a visual on like the temple and stuff like that that's really cool a lot of reading in this book right here you will read about the prophets about you know the torah you're going to go through all the all the prophets in here the wisdom literature scroll of esther daniel formulation a uh, formation of the old testament it's got a lot of information about ar archaeology the background um a lot of information in here um this class is is really quick paced they're six week classes there's a lot of information in this class so i suggest you got to spend a little more time studying if you want to get the full grasp of it you know you get what you put into things so a lot of extra reading a lot of extra research will be really good in this class um it really opened my eyes to a lot of things very beneficial uh, there was a, a lecture video in the beginning by dr thomas j king about the timelines of the old testament it really opened my eyes to a lot of things talks about you know when the two when the when Israel separated, why they separated, how they separated Israel and Judea. That's always been interesting to me. You know, he covers a lot of that. Um, that's something you can research on your own. I'm going to say the reading is the most in this because you're going to read about, on average, about 130 pages a week. And, you know, between kids and family and everything else, it's, it's a lot of reading, but it's worth it. You're going to have your assignments do comprehension questions. You're going to have do every week. And they're just going to ask you a few questions that are related to the lectures. The lectures, Thomas, uh, Dr. Thomas J. King, is, is he did a magnificent job on this lesson plan. Um, they're going to be about his lectures. Another thing I want to tell you is that when uh, you take the test at the end, it's worth 250 points. So there, it's all based on the lectures. So print out your lectures, research them, highlight them, go over them, and continue to keep on going over them because all the questions on the lecture, on the final exam, are on the lectures. So that's just a tip for you guys right there. Stay up on them lectures because they they are, are the questions for the final quiz or in the lectures. So the more you stay up to on them, the less you have to worry about the final quiz. You're gonna. Uh, have to do a reaction paper and a reaction paper a week you're going to have to take two things that were covered in this book the old testament survey right here your two things that you found in here that you had questions about or you just wanted to elaborate on um, two things out of this book you'll you'll uh, put a summarization of kind of what the book said and then your response what you think and why you believe it why you disagree or why you question it or or why you're in total agreement to it so um, be ready to do that once a week also, and that's usually due on uh, day four. Comprehension questions will be due on day three, which is Wednesday. And then on Friday, you're going to usually have, he's, they're going to give you an, an Old Testament scripture to read over. And they're going to want to know what's the overall purpose of the passage, what message was intended for the original audience in ancient Israel about it? And how might the original message apply to the community of the modern church today? So though you're going to take those three questions and see how they apply to the scripture that you read. 
So, um, and you know, when you're reading just that scripture, it's good to read a little bit before and a little bit after so you get the whole context of what's being said in the scripture. So that's usually due on day five. Do by day six or day seven is always your um, weekly reflection. So your weekly reflection is always going to cover what is the most significant thing that you learned this week. What did I learn that changed my understanding of the Bible? How will I use this knowledge in my ministry or life? And what questions or insights were prompted for me this week based upon um, this course? And your reading material, your lectures, and your class discussions and stuff. So that's always going to be due by day seven. So the first three weeks, you have to do all three of them things. Reaction paper. Um, you're going to... Um, oh, what was it? Your reaction paper. Your uh, passage where they give you the passage and you have to reflect on it. And then, and then your weekly reflection. And... Let's see. So what else is there? Oh, comprehension questions, reaction paper, and then day five where you do the scripture. So the first three weeks, you're going to do all three of those. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. It's all, it's all due. But just remember when week four or five and six start, uh, like the first week, you won't have to do the reaction paper. The next week you will, but not the comprehension question. So the first three weeks got the most work in them. The, the next three have one less assignment in it, which will give you more time to uh, reevaluate your lectures to get ready for the quiz. So that's what I would suggest. Hit the first three weeks hard and then use them three, the last three weeks to, um, instead of the assignment that you get to skip that you don't do, use that to reflect on your lecture so you can be prepared for the quiz. Um, if you guys have any more questions or anything, please put them in the comments below. Um, I'm thankful that you guys are watching my journey. Um, I hope that this video blesses somebody. I don't get too far into the content or any of that because um, that's for you and your professor when you go through it, you can see, but kind of what you can expect workload wise, the material that you're going to be going through to give you a heads up. And I definitely recommend this class to anybody who wants to understand more about the Old Testament, about the writings, the prophets, the wisdom literatures, the Torah, the canonization, and the difference in the canon, uh, the canons for the Old Testament between the different, like Jewish people, Protestant, uh, and stuff like that. It's all in here. If you want to get a visual on things, I'm a visual learner also, so I love having these charts, these maps, and stuff like that. Time frames, big thing, uh, exilic, post-exilic, and uh, pre-exilic times is in reference to the Old Testament. Um, the captivity of Babylon when the uh, Babylon conquered Israel. Pre, so post post is going to be after. The exilic period is going to be when they were there in Babylon. And pre is going to be after. I never really thought about it like that. But that's something that you need to understand when you're reading through the material. Because they'll refer to certain periods, certain prophets and stuff as a post-exilic or an exilic prophet. Or this happened post-exilic. So you got to understand that that's referring to the the time of babylon so i hope these tips helped you god bless you guys thank you guys please subscribe to my channel and continue to track my journey and please keep me in your prayers god bless you and have a good day